State, the home of the Panthers, a team that reached the Stanley Cup Final just two seasons into their existence. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Bruins take possession to get this one underway. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Steps into the offensive end. Moves the puck behind the net. Takes a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Florida's got the puck. Gets it over to Ekblad. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Florida's got possession of the puck. The Panthers move it in. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Bruins have it now. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Now a quick pass to Grizzly. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Forsling. Moves the puck. Swatted out of midair. And he takes the dish. Great poke check on the reach. And the puck banks off the glove. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Boston's won the draw. They'll go to work. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Oh, what a stop by Bobrovsky. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Mikulov. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Oh, stick save and a beaut. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Drills them. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Keeps possession. Battling for it along the boards. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And there's the save. Passes it in front. And that's stopped. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Kachunks is one of the most skilled players in the game, but it's his creativity that helps put those skills on display, guys. His it's tricky zone ability is that willingness to try new and unconventional moves to surprise everyone and create highlight real goals. Ten more seconds! Well, if they're gonna do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Puck set across the blue line. Deflected off someone in front. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. In the final moments of this period, still looking for our first goal. Oh, 
And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And a nice save there. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. Marshawn's no contest zone ability means he's good at hunting down loose pucks. Kachuk's the highly skilled player, and his it's tricky zone ability is that willingness to bring those unconventional plays to life and score. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Kiki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And they win the draw here in their own end. Florida's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Bruins will serve two for slashing. A little four and four hockey as both teams step inside the faceoff circle. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Boston's looking to break out. Takes it across the blue line. Great use of the twig as he puts that one away. Played big in the moment there. There's the horn. Ending the first period, both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. The mission is simply by the And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Bruins had great possession time in the opening frame, James, and they need to look to continue that through the second period and not get frustrated that they didn't convert on it. The one thing that they can do a better job of is getting off of the perimeter and into the mid lane of the ice to create some more quality scoring opportunities. And makes the save. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Here's a shot. Stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Barkov's a bit of a wild card, guys. He's great at takeaways and getting the play to go in his direction. And that's thanks to his joint zone ability. It's how he likes to generate his chances. Moves it to Carlo. Back at the point, they set it up. Let's the wrister go. Fantastic save. The has been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. He scores! What a goal! That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Bruins have been pushing and pushing and pushing, and they finally get a goal here in period number two. I really like their game, James, and they haven't gotten frustrated, and that's a key element, especially when you're getting a ton of chances and you haven't been able to cash in. But they do execute. They convert, so this should open the game up for them. Quick feed to Cousins. Takes the feed from the left side. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Swayman. More than half the period left to play. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Bennett's won the draw there on the attack. Hot save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Boston's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Van Riemsdyk's got it in the offensive zone. The Panthers will play it in their own end. Pumps the puck. 
puck away. Sends it over to DeBrusque. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes a wrist shot. How did he stop that one? I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. Great defensive effort with the stick. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Great stop by Sweeman. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Lord has got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Montour. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Boston's got the puck. Slides it over to Frederick. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Shot! Oh, I thought he had it! What a chance there! Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's gonna be disappointed, but he's all around the net. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. And that goes off course off a of body. Taken along the wall by Forsling. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the pass from the left wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Slides it across to Frederick. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Some fragile timing here, James, at the end of the period. It's a close game. Your peak airs have to get to work. They can get some rest in the intermission, and they can start the next period. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Great hand on the goaltender, poking it away. The Boston's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Quick shot. That eyes him on the play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And he hangs on to the puck. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. The Panthers have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. Shoot it, shoot it. Takes a shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Florida's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Geeky's taking it from his own end. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. The Bruins' man advantage is over. It's amazing how a kill can put your opponent on their heels because they had an opportunity on the offensive side of the puck. At a critical time of the game, when the game... Break away! Oh, beautiful save on the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. The Frozen Biscuits track, and we are back underway here. From the right side, takes the pass. Slides it across. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Tries to feed it over to Barkov. Coyle's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it to Pasternak. Fires it on net. Oh, what a blocker stop on that. Rips it on net. And it's blocked in traffic. And a quick save on that one. Barkov sticks.
Mike handling in his own zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And that's off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Cousins. Feeds the puck to Kachuk. And it's a quick pass to Cousins. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the call. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Florida's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And they manage to clear it. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Bruins have been extremely strong defensively tonight. They've protected the interior of the ice. They've pushed everything to the perimeter, and now they're protecting the shutout. Florida's gained possession along the boards. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Taken by Rodriguez. And the puck banks off the glove. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Marshawn's worked hard, and even though he hasn't got on the scoreboard, I've liked his game, guys. I'm giving him the edge here. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Blocked at the line and kept in. Uh, you can see it in the body language. The PK unit knows that they need to do a better job. You retrieve it, you gotta get it down the ice. Instead, now you're a tired group trying to ward off a potent offensive power play. Still keeps a hold of it. McAvoy slugging the puck. And the puck clears the zone. Picked up along the boards by Montour. Quick feed to Verhage. Puck picked up by Shattenkirk. Ready for that save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Oh, to Bison with the paddle save. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Now well, you got to toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period. Another man advantage opportunity looms. Can they take advantage? Well, at these times of the game, with just an average power play tonight, it's your best players that have to find a way to perform. Yeah, your heart rate may be elevated, but this is the time where the money plays out. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Van Riemsdyk's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Boston's won the defensive zone draw. tonight, James. He has been so strong in his crease, but that's going to be disappointing for him. You know, anytime you're riding a wave like that, you want to get the goose egg, and this time it's not going to happen. The Panthers' last goal, Cheryl. Huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer, and this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. Can't keep a hold of it. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Good stand-up hit. A critical draw here.
The Bruins win it. Quick pass to McAvoy. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Great reach with the stick by McAvoy. Here's a short pass to Cousins. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And he slides it quickly to Montour. Denies him! Denies him again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding. Made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Grislyk. They gain the zone from the left side. Slides into Montour. Tries to get the puck to Barkov. Moves it quickly over to Reinhardt. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. Florida's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. This is a face off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they win the offensive zone face off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. There's the horn. That means overtime is looming. Both teams will refresh and will come back with the drama next. Are you hashtagging overtime challenge on social media? Because they're ready to get it underway. Tension, anticipation, it's all happening. It's overtime and it's underway. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Pastor knocks out here in overtime, and we know his zone ability could be the contributing factor to winning this game. Let's see how things play out, guys. Florida's got a hold of the puck. The Panthers have it now. Into the offensive end now. Puts it on net. Loses his balance on the play. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Drives to the sweet spot. Takes control of the puck. Gives them nothing in front. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. He might have a step here. All alone. And there's the save. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Here's a chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Bruins will serve two minutes in the box. The Panthers once again send out their power play unit and what a golden opportunity here. Won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And there's the horn to conclude overtime. And we are off to the shootout. And we'll bring it to you in moments. Who'll be the hero? I can't wait. Tonight is our team poster giveaway. If you find a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to guest services to receive your team poster. I'm always amazed at the mixed emotions when we get to the shootout, as some people say they don't like it, the traditionalists, but guess what? Nobody's turning away when the moment of truth arrives. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Oh, he had it on his stick, but couldn't finish. Uh, sometimes simple is the most effective in these situations, and he just gets in too tight and just runs out of room and unable to crowd it and get a shot off. 
had a chance to widen the lead and couldn't do it. Yeah, he couldn't capitalize, and more importantly is he doesn't apply any pressure to the opponent or the opposing goaltender. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Tom, um, this is why they practice it a lot of the time post-practice. James, goaltenders want to work on this, so do shooters. He does a great job of anticipating to make that save. Scores! Oh my, a little too sweet! This is just a great move, James. He knew exactly what he was going to do, and he buries it. Do or die moment. He needs to score in order to keep his team still in this thing. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. You could feel the anticipation building for a winner in this one, and we finally got that W. Well, the most skilled players get out there in that shootout. It's like a mini skills competition out there, and you get to see the elite skill set and some great finish. Just unbelievable, and the crowd just loves it. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.